Minecraft's world generation is completely randomized, all determined by a specific number called the seed. Because seeds are random, some can cause Minecraft worlds to look absolutely insane. So today, we'll be taking a look at some of the most unbelievable seeds that have ever been found in Minecraft's decade-long history. But quickly, we're almost at 500,000 subscribers, so if you could even consider subscribing, it'd mean a ton. Alright, so we all know that every seed generates different structures, such as temples and mine shafts. But how about we start off by looking at seeds with structures that go way, way out of the norm. This seed has a stronghold unlike any other you've seen before. The library in this stronghold completely sticks out of the ocean, showing the entire world all of its knowledge. Other seeds have had similar things generate like this before too, like this one where the stair entrance is completely exposed to the surface on this small island. Now those are a few one-of-a-kind seeds, but once we actually enter the stronghold, strongholds, things get a little bit more interesting. There is a 1 in 1 trillion chance of a seed having an ender portal pre-lit with every eye of ender in place. Which as we can see here, there are a few seeds with this feature. But this seed right here is much more special. It is a bugged ender portal. You may not actually believe me, but this seed generated this glitched end portal naturally, which only has one third of it activated, and it actually works. This phenomenon happened because the portal generated with 5 eyes a vendor on this side, but it also happened to generate right on a chunk border, which tricked the portal into activating one third of it. So this next seed, which is on an amplified world, has a floating jungle temple with a floating island above it. This is just so strange, imagine how weird it would be to come across this randomly while playing. Speaking of weird temple formation, check out this seed with a desert temple that generated perfectly inside of a village home. I mean, look at this, it's like that one guy in the neighborhood who keeps getting extremely moronic house renovations. There's even an enchanted golden apple in the desert temple chest, which makes this seed all the more rare. Think these village houses couldn't get any more insane? Well, just take a gander at this one. This seed pretty much has a natural spawning skyscraper. This house's foundation stretches about 150 blocks tall to the ground. The reason this house is so elongated is because the game tried spawning the house on this small floating island, but when it did, the game thought, w -w -w wait a minute, this will be floating in some parts. Let's just extend it 300 feet to the f***ing ground. That's about how tall the Statue of Liberty is. Come for the world's biggest collaborations and networking opportunities. Is. So we all know that in most Minecraft worlds, villagers and pillagers hate each other, but on this seed, it's opposite day. These guys are absolutely vibing with each other just being boys, and the villagers even moved into the mansion and took their entire houses with them. The fact that not only a village spawning next to a woodland mansion is rare, but the fact that some of the houses generated inside is just mind-blowing. Alright Hank, don't be shy, your friends are here to see you! Aw, oh, oh, look how cute they are, wrestling with each other. Hank? Staying on the topic of woodland mansions, if you are unlucky enough to load up this seed right here, you will immediately spawn inside of a mansion's floorboards with this air pocket of tall grass. And then you'll have to manually mine yourself out with your fists. This is just really funny and unlucky that something like this can actually happen, but it only gets more insane from here. This seed has an ocean monument which spawned inside of a stronghold. Now right off the bat, this seed seems to be pretty rare and visually it is appealing, but once you try to fill the end portal to beat the game and you didn't bring any milk, elder guardians will prevent you from breaking silverfish spawners and there you go. You just got double teamed by the worst two mobs in the game. But that isn't the only seed with an insane ocean monument generation. This seed features a badlands biome which you know is, is already pretty rare, with an ocean monument that spawned inside of this small pond the biome formed. This is actually one of the shallowest and smallest waters a monument can spawn in, which makes this seed generation pretty darn rare. So we've gone from floating temples to villages to ocean monuments. How about we go a little deeper into the mines? This seed's mineshaft actually goes through bedrock all the way down at Y2. The reason it can do this is because mineshafts are one of the only structures that can override the generation of bedrock. So when it formed, it drilled right through it. And hey, if you get to the end of this tunnel without Herobrine abducting you, there's a cool little skeleton spawner. So all of these seeds so far have been pretty rare 
rare and insane, but none of them come as close to this seed right here, where you can beat Minecraft without leaving the spawn chunk. This seed's 16 by 16 block spawn chunk has all the required resources for you to be able to get to the end and beat the game. It starts off by spawning you inside a village, which you can get resources to trade with a cleric, who back in 1.7.10 could trade you as a vendor. Then after you get enough, you can mine down to the stronghold, which conveniently has the portal directly under the spawn. After that, you can enter the end and beat the game, all done without ever leaving the spawn chunk. Whoo! Talk about a speed run. All right, so all of these structural unique seeds are pretty mind-blowing, but how about we look at a few seeds that I would consider famous. If this video on the screen right now gives you the shivers, you're not the only one. This is the official seed of where the original Herobrine legend took place, and it gives off the most threatening aura I've ever felt. See this small little square picture of a mountain in the Minecraft resource pack and world selection? Well, the seed for that image, pack.png, has also been found. Now, if you've been playing Minecraft for a while, I'm sure you've recognized those two seeds, but you probably recognize this one as well. For seven years, this was the Minecraft title screen background image, and it was just found through seed finding not too long ago. All of the other four Minecraft panoramas have been found too, such as the B update and the Nether update, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. And by the way, Mojang doesn't actually give us the seeds for these worlds. People actually find them by analyzing simple screenshots or small videos, which is even more mind-blowing. Alright, so now instead of looking at the seeds with the craziest structures in history, let's take a look at the seeds with the most insane terrain generation, such as mountains and biomes. This seed right here has one of the craziest snow mountains that you will ever find in Minecraft. Not only does it go up to almost Y200, but its north cliffside is so steep that you can jump off the tip of the mountain into the water below. I don't know about you fellas, but this looks like a prime spot to build a survival base. Although that mountain seems tall, it is nowhere near the height of the tallest natural generated terrain point in all of Minecraft. Coming all the way in at Y256, the mountain on this seed is one of the tallest mountains ever discovered in a non-amplified world. I mean, come on, just look how massive this thing is. You can't even see the top of it from the ground. Unless if you're this guy I found on stock images, there is no way you're getting up that thing alive. Alright, so those mountains may be a little tall, but what about a cactus that is not three blocks tall, not 6 or 9 blocks tall, but 23 blocks tall. Yeah, this seed has a cactus which naturally generated 23 blocks tall. Something like this happening is extremely rare because you need cactus blocks to stack onto each other when generating a whole 23 times. Which seems easy, but when there's thousands of other sand blocks in the desert for all the cactuses to spawn on, the odds start to become pretty unlikely. Now structures like villages can be pretty boring on their own, but but when they're generated in the right terrain, things can get interesting. Imagine you load into a new world, new seed, and you come face to face with a villager house. No big deal, you'll blow it up later, but when you zoom out, you realize the incredible seed you've just stumbled across. Not only are you on a small island with a village on it, but you're also completely surrounded by a frozen ocean and mushroom biome. But the rare village biome combinations don't stop there. This seed is just as crazy, or even more crazy, than the last one. This seed generated a desert village and temple right next to this absolutely beautiful mountain which even has a small little pond right below. If there is a seven wonders of the world in Minecraft, this would have to be one of them. Want to see the most cursed Minecraft seeds ever? Any seed loaded on the snapshot version 18w06a will spawn upside down trees. There's no real explanation for this anomaly besides a bug in the tree generation during the snapshot. It's just so strange strange. I mean, a stupid tree. How are you gonna do photosynthesis down there? Now, before we get to some more unbelievable seeds, here's some seed facts that I'm 99% sure you didn't know about. Starting off, did you know that you can find diamonds using clay positioning? I know it seems a bit odd, but if you simply find a clay patch in a swamp biome, move six blocks away from the middle of it in the positive Z direction, then mine straight down, you will find diamonds as easy as that. I mean, who, who needs x-ray hacks when you have this? Okay, so this fact is a little bit more weird. If you are to load up the snapshot version 20w14 infinite, make a nether portal and throw a used book and quill inside of it, it will open up a randomized dimension that when you load into it, it will give you nightmares for the rest of your life. Like just listen to this seed. 
Every time you do this, the seed is different too. Apparently, Mojang did this as an April Fool's prank, but that's like kicking someone in the nuts and calling it an April Fool's prank. Another cool seed fact is not only are the blocks in your world determined by the seed, but the mobs that spawn can also be. This seed in particular has a weird trait where every sheep herd that spawns in this plains biome will always have a pink sheep. Usually, pink sheep have a 1 in 642 chance of spawning, but this seed just doesn't care about the RNG and spawns the same colored flock of sheep every time. Quick fact, did you know that if you try putting in the seed zero, it doesn't work? But if you put in Kreashak's organ sign and do slash seed, you'll be on seed zero. Alright, so although some of the seeds we've looked at so far seem broken, they come nowhere near as broken as a repeating seed. Due to a bug in the game's code, certain seeds will repeat world terrain features across an entire axis infinitely. For instance, this seed right here had the perfect conditions to generate a repeated mineshaft that goes all the way to the world's borders. If that wasn't crazy enough, this seed on Bedrock Edition formed a never-ending ravine with lava at the bottom. But this insane repeating occurrence doesn't happen only underground. The surface in the end can also be broken as shown by these icebergs and end islands. Although there are multiple repeating seeds that have been found by the community, the chances of coming across one in a randomly generated world is 1 in 140 billion. And that's that. Minecraft's most unbelievable sea. Oh, wait, wait there's another one? Oh god, I, I don't I don't even want to see this. Whoa, 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 wait, don't, don't tell me that's a stompy. Uh, <laughs>